How's, how's your hair? How's your hair? Like all good YouTubers. Looks like crap, I bet. Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey and Paul Bennett here on the back porch. On the back porch here <laughs> at uh, on Friday, the 22nd of May, uh, 2015. Around uh, we're getting on to 5:30 or so. Oh, five to six. Six fifth. Five to six. There. That's on. That's that's the poop from Paul's watch. <laughs> Now it seems that Paul got a raise here. <laughs> Tell us about that, Paul. Oh, we talked about you know, how tough it was. Annual evaluation. Right. And uh, HR stuff. You know, cause all the injuries in the. Uh, and just like the other people had injuries. Injury? Everybody was put on limitations and stuff. Oh, I see. Well, can they use that as a way to determine uh, your pay? Uh, your, your, your... I only got a 2% raise. Well, that's, on. that's consistent with inflation, actually. Which mounted to 18 cents. Actually, it's... it's more an hour. It's just a hair over what the official inflation rate is. So I'm making nine thirty six an hour now. Instead of nine eighteen. Good lord. Well, that's I I always thought you started out around ten or ten fifty. No. Okay. Well, Better than a kick in the eye with a sharp stick or something, you know? Yeah. And then, uh, you yeah, know, was a supervisor did it. Gave me twos on everything except for the very last thing about being polite to the guests and what? hospitality. They say you're not polite? No. That's where I got the five points. Oh, so she's she's downgrading you? Yeah. Five points is the higher highest oh. thing you can oh. get. Twos. But everything else is two. So she's trying to screw you. It's, yeah. Yeah. Saying so, you know, unacceptable. Unacceptable? Acceptable. Acceptable. Right. I'm good at what I do. I'd love to see hers. Really, I'd love to give her one. You know, there's some companies that uh, do let the underlings give an evaluation to their higher up. I don't know how that works out, but I understand that there, some companies have that practice. Yeah. Well, you know, well, why do you sit around and don't move to her almost 9, 30, 10 o'clock? Because she looks like she's got about 18 medicine balls in her big fat gut. That's why. And, uh, you know, and then she'll take like a two, three hour break. Well, she's a, she's a, basically she's a triple threat. From 10, 20 on. Yeah, she's a triple threat affirmative action situation. That's all there is to it. And not in a good way. And no, that's not racist. That's just the facts, guys. That's how the world works. That's not sexist. That's just the facts, guys. That's not disabilityist. That's just the facts, guys. I think, I think most of the disability has to do with the fact that there's not too much going on up here. I've met this woman a couple, three times. It's very obvious there's not too much going on up here. But she fills a slot. Anyway, enough of that. Now, today, in today's little miscellany of the bazaar, 
as always is the case up here, or certainly often is the case up here. I got a letter from Trans Systems. The arms linked, I always love the arms linked people operating for the highway department. Now this, this was postmarked from the Columbus office, not the Cleveland office. Right. And it was dated Wednesday. May 20th, 20th, Wednesday, May 20th. And it basically was like an introductory letter. Hi, you know, we've, we've been hired to, you know, do handle this to locate this transaction on your property and all this. And it's like like what is this back to the future? You know, no, are you are like, you telling me so one of the very first letters you would you would receive from these people. Yes. Well uh, I don't know if this is a cover my ass letter or whatever and I don't know if this was coordinated between the Columbus office and the Cleveland office, but it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out once once and if, well, there's no if about it because at some point they'll have to give me an offer. Um, but for whatever reason, they are choosing not to give me an offer, an official offer, right now. You know, they're trying to get me to sign these these bogus contracts to let them onto the property as if they've, they've had an offer, I've had an offer. But uh, we shall see. Hey, come on, you buy a house, you submit a written offer. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, you, you know, Well, this isn't quite like... Between realtor and realtor. Yeah, well, this isn't, this isn't quite like hosing down the Fenway Road to buy the house. Where I had to spend the weekend, you know, <laughs> ratcheting these guys down on what they wanted before I got the house. Notice I was avoiding using the ethnic slang for that process. <laughs> Which I grew up thinking completely normal, but realized since then that it was awfully offensive. Well, offensive, <laughs> yeah. Well, people grow, people learn. Sometimes it takes a while, but that, has, that does happen. So any uh, any any outfits coming in this weekend? Oh, just a lot of families are coming in. Got this uh, Catholic singles group coming in. <clears throat> They're using two different places. One group of them is like going to be there for three days, starting today. Believe it or not, they're using one of the bedrooms, a hotel room, and they requested a horseshoe of chairs around the bed, so they're all going to sit there and face the bed. Well, they're going to have a sex show on the bed? I don't know. And then the other group... That sounds like they're going to film a porn movie. The other group is only supposed to meet from like 9 to 11. They're going to be in the big meeting room. And there's only 12 of them going to be in there. And so, I don't know what they're up to. That's like that great scene in Lucky Man or Oh Lucky Man where... You know, Malcolm McDowell's the coffee salesman and he happens into this thing where they they take him into a sex show in the in the town where all the prominent people in town are and they, right. have, they have this you know custom custom porn show called chocolate sandwich and, <laughs> and and you know you've got a black guy in the middle of two white women you know chocolate sandwich chocolate sandwich oh you mean like a s'more between two Cinnamon crackers I've never, and I've a never, marshmallow, I've melon never, marshmallow. I've never understood the term s'mores. I always thought that was basically like a hot dog with cheese and bacon wrapped around it over a fire. No, because they always thought, you know, if you ate, if you throw some, a, a marshmallow and put it on a Hershey candy bar between yeah. two... 
Sorry guys, battery failure. So uh, uh, we're, we were discussing the uh, definition of the s'mores, a term I've always found highly offensive. Uh, and uh, Paul was making the point about how if you, if you made them the way he was describing in terms of chocolate and things. And a properly roasted yeah. marshmallow. Yeah, you'd want, you'd want more. You'd want more. Yeah. And I always... And was, you'd always say, may I please have some more? So and I, they were called some more. And I always thought that uh, my, my sister would make these things, you know, in the oven. Sometimes we'd do them over the fire and you'd wrap cheese and bacon around them and then you'd, you'd you know, so the cheese melted. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about a whole different thing. Well, but that's what, I'm, but but that's what we called them. We called them s'mores. Some s'mores. Well, I don't know. We called them s'mores, and um, and what you had them, you definitely wanted more of them. I'll tell you, they were pretty dang gone good. Yeah, but you're talking like sausage sticks. And, well, no. And bacon. Hot, well, no hot dogs. Hot dogs. Okay. That sounds better than the chocolate. Oh hell yeah! It's, it's, it's a it's a real food. It's, it's not this 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 candy crap. Crap. Yeah. 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 So uh, all the cute lacrosse guys are gone. All the cute soccer players are gone. Right. Yeah. I'm down to a bunch of families. Did you did you did you get any secondary gain here by seeing them and you know coming and going from the pool? Oh, <laughs> you can bet. I should imagine so. Yeah. Did you find any stray jock straps lying around? No. Oh, that's too bad. Those are little those are little treasures if you can find those. Yeah. Well, a couple of rubbers along the pool side. Really? Rubbers <laughs> along the pool side? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Wonder what kind of action that involves. I don't know. Well, but but this this gathering this weekend you say seems to be like more like a family values gathering. Yeah, because you know it's and a long weekend. And there's some there's sort of family just coming for a long weekend. But there's some sort of Catholic thing where they're all going to gather around the bed and gaze at the bed. Yeah. There's going to be called a, a single single Catholic gather. A single single Catholics together. Right. Well, what? Why are they circling their chairs around the bed? I don't know. Is this like a tag team wrestling match? That's the one of the rooms we set up for. Them. Well, this sounds very kinky. So there's ten of them in that room, and then there's twelve in the actual meeting room. Maybe it's a tournament. Maybe you know they they get a winner in each room and then they face off somewhere. Well, I don't know. This sounds strange. I know. It's a bunch of old folks. Oh, these are older Catholics? Yeah. Oh, so this is this is like, I thought it was like a Catholic singles thing. Yeah, I know. Older I Catholic hoping, singles? I was hoping to see a couple good-looking guys. Well, but, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You could be somebody a good you could 70, be looking guy at Catholic. Somebody in their seventies and eighties and they can hardly walk. You know, well hmm. hell, you could have some good looking guys in your seventies and eighties. Look at Art Meyer. He's one of the most passionate guys I've ever had leaning up against me. And he had a he had a hard on that wouldn't would would not go away for days. <laughs> remember you remember Art, of course you remember. Yeah. God bless Art. He's dead. He had liver cancer. That was before the Reliver thing that was supposed to give you like four hours stiffer. But why? Oh, well, no. I mean, Art, no, Art. Art didn't need that. No, Art didn't need that. That's for damn sure. His boyfriend might have needed it, given the fact he was sort of insensate from drink most of the time. But Peter predeceased him by about three or four years. Good guys. But well, I'll tell you, old Art, 
Art put the moves on me one night. It was great. Nothing happened. I fought him off, but but just barely. <laughs> I don't know if you know if it had been a more private thing. I might not. I might have succumbed. Not succumbed. I would have probably acquiesced joyfully. Actually, Al oh, Art always had more to drink than anybody else. Well, no, Peter. Well, Peter already sort of hit his quota yeah, by the time Peter we got it. Yeah. Well, Peter. Yeah, we never really saw Peter get. I think Peter did his stuff early in the morning. I really don't ever remember me. Him. Peter, he was always in the room. He was always in the room when we were there. He usually had his back turned to us. Huh. Art, Art met Peter when he when Art when Art was drafted into the war in World War II. He he met Peter over in England when he was a a, a ground right. a ground crew. You know, Art was a ground crew in the U.S. Army Air Force, and uh, Peter was ground crew in the British, you know, the Royal Air Force. And uh, and then when the war was over, they came back home together. And uh, somehow along the way, Peter was able to stay over here the entire time. And there was no, I don't, I don't know how he, how, they, how he got his green card or anything, but. Uh, I mean, it's not like. But, but there was. It's not like if the British girl married the American guy. And no, there was no marriage. No, there wasn't a marriage thing. I, mean, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying it's not like yeah. the British girl will marry an American guy, so she then could... Well, there's no problem then. Commit, right. Yeah. But back then, no. I'm, I'm, not, you, I'm not trying to be an asshole here. Nobody ever said anything about gay then. Are you nuts? Art was a art. Art was a. He, he showed me his high school yearbook once. He was a cheerleader at Centerburg High School, uh, in like around 1936, 1937. You know, he was, you know, you know, you know, male cheerleader in 1936, 1937. Although actually, I guess those were more common then, but. Right. But he said he was, he was the, 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 there weren't, that was not the case at Centerburg High School, which was a small rural high school, yeah. you know, about 30 miles north of Columbus. Right. Yeah. There'd only be like, you know, a, shit, there wouldn't even been 1,200 kids in the school. Oh, not even that. Hell, 1,200 kids in the damn town. So, um. Like six. I don't know how we got on art, but he was a good guy and is a good guy as far as I'm concerned. And uh, that was a whole older crowd that we fell in with, uh, or I fell in with, and then Paul fell in with when I met Paul. And, uh, a lot of fun. So I'm going to, absent any, any magic thing you have to say. Wow. Well, Pretty much had all the fun I want for the day. I mean, I'm tired. Yeah, no shit. I don't blame you. So I had a guest ask me today, you know, do you ever get to stop moving? No. You're always on the run. No. You've been on the run since yeah. 7.30 this morning. Good. When do you get to stop and rest? I said, well, I get my car and go home. When you go home, yeah. Well, it's like, yeah, it's I like. Said, I get to set. It's like when I work. a mile drive. Yeah, it's like when I work. It's like, you know, I mean, you, you know, you go to work, you work. You come home, then there it is. I was going to ask you something else. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Uh, see you later, my fans. There we I love you. Bye-bye. All righty, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to bang you on that.